What is going on, Washington fans? Love you coming at you from Redskins Rant. Health to the Redskins. Um, breaking news. Um, I just did a video about Matt Stafford, or that involved a little bit about Matt Stafford and potentially being traded to the Washington football team. And he just got traded to the Rams. So um, I'm going to go over this real quick and kind of go over my thoughts on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over what the Lions had to trade to, uh, what the Lions traded, what the Rams traded. I'll go over all that. Lions will receive a third pick, third round pick this year. So the Rams, I guess, get their first round pick this year, or maybe they don't have one. Um, a first round pick in 2022, a first round pick in 2023, in exchange for a former number one overall, in exchange for the number one overall picks. The deal cannot be made till March 17th, the start of the league's new year. So, Washington would have had to give up three first three picks, two first rounders, to get this guy. I'm kind of glad we dodged that bullet because I'm pretty sure that they did. They had to give all that um, to dump Golf's contract. That's the that had to have been the reason because Golf had a pr pretty hefty contract, and uh, they just didn't want to pay him the next couple years. Um, Stafford's contract, I think I went over this in my video, is a very um, no, or good contract. It's a good contract to have. It's a very cheap contract. Um, I mean, golf is significantly younger. He's only 26, but his contract is significantly more at, uh, at this point in time than the contract for Matt Stafford. Um, and going forward, they don't have a lot of cap space. This is going to help them clear some cap space and they're set at quarterback. And it's just, I don't know what the Rams are going to do because they have no first round picks coming in the next few years. And let's say like dump assets. They're not going to have any first-round picks to replenish their team. Um, in a couple of years, they literally are not going to have anything um, when it comes to uh, assets, players, whatever you want to call it. So I do think it's a good, it's a good move for the Rams in some regards because uh, Matt Stafford with Sean McVay is, their, is a quarterback, or uh, Matt Stafford with Sean McVay as his head coach and, and offensive coordinator. I think it will make Stafford that much better. I think he's going to be – I think he might be an MVP candidate next year. He's going to get a lot more touchdowns. He's going to have someone who's like a really good – I have something in my eye. Sorry, I have like a sleepy in my eye. And it just started acting up the second I turned his camera on. Okay. So, what do I think about this for Washington? We dodged the bullet. I said in my video, the most I would give for him is a first and a third. So, they did that, but they want to give another first and took Jared Goff. Um I wouldn't have done that. I, I mean, they, if they take what, what they take, what they take uh, Alex Smith, they just going to retire <sighs> at that point. So, uh, yeah, way too much, way too much. So, yeah, I wouldn't have done that much. I wouldn't have done that much stuff at all. Um, maybe this is just too bright. Let me turn this down a notch. That's better. Okay. So, yeah, Washington dodge bullet. I don't want to give up that much stuff. Now, here's the problem is I actually like the thought of having Matt Stafford in the Washington football team's offense um, with the weapons we have. Uh, he's a force multiplier. makes that one that much better. Um, beyond that, uh, so that leaves a couple options out there now. So the one option I, I, I put on the table is, um, is uh, what's the name of the Jets, uh, Sam Darnold. Sam Arnold is a pretty good option that I have for quarterback that I think we could potentially use. Maybe he's not our number one option, but he's a cheap option. He's a safe option. He doesn't cost that much money. He can compete with Taylor Heineke. We believe we can give up like a fourth or fifth round to probably trade for him. Uh, the Jets are either going to draft the quarterback for, or in the first round, first overall, or they're going to trade for another quarterback. I don't think they should do that. Maybe Watson if he's available. Um, Watson, it's the Talk about a good segue. Watson would be a great option, too, because if we're going to give up that many picks, I might as well get Watson. Um, if it, it, Like, Washington will probably have to give up two first-rounders, a third, and a a player like Jonathan Allen to get that done. And I'm okay with that. I actually wouldn't be opposed to that. I would, I, God, I have something in my I apologize. I'll give up three firsts and Jonathan Allen. I'll give it two firsts, Jonathan Allen, um and a third and like a fifth, like a fifth next year, third this year. Um, so there's a handful of things I would give up to get uh, get Sean Watson. Um, I don't want to go too much into that. I already did a whole video on what I would do. It just kind of like our options are, are diminishing right now. So what we're going to do at quarterback, our options are, tech, are like just gradually diminishing. 
apparently we are like one of two teams in the NFC that uh, Deshaun Watson wants to go to. Um, so that's exciting, I guess. But it would just have to, we're in a wait and see moment right now. So um, it is exciting news, though, that as like I, I know it's going to sound dumb, but I'm like I just got a haircut because I'm like losing my hair. But the reason why I'm saying like I'm losing my hair over it is like I stress about this stuff because I love the Washington football team. I want to know who our quarterback is. I stress about the draft. I stress about uh, pre- uh, preseason. I stress about every game, and I have anxiety the entire week until the game starts. So I care about this very deeply, and I've been worried about what they're going to do at quarterback, and the saga continues. So um, one of the potential options we had is now out the door. Um, and like I said, I'm happy Washington decided that that's not their route they want to go. They would have given up too much for – um, a player that is only going to be here two, three years. They might do it. It could have done an extension, but I doubt he's going to do that. So um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you watch, please check out my other videos. I'm actually posting one of them right now. I might actually be done. Um, one's uploading, processing. It's processing right now. Um, one I uploaded, it's about our cap situation and a lot of the quarterback scenarios and, and free agent scenarios we can do this year. And uh, monetarily, how that affects everything else on the team. Like we draft Watson, how much money we have. Um, and the second one, um, it's it's kind of a longer one. I, I'd be surprised if you're not a fan and don't want to watch it. It's a long one. It's basically a draft video. I use six draft, um, draft engines to kind of uh, get a gauge for what everyone, where everyone's going to get drafted and what Washington can get where. Um, it gives me some pretty good insight on what Washington could get if they have their first round pick this year. I personally don't think they will. I think they're going to trade it for uh, for draft picks or for a player, for a quarterback. But you never know. We might still have it. We might end up have to do it in the draft, and we might get one of the guys that comes up in that video. Um, so last thing is if you made it this far, uh, please comment who you want at quarterback. Don't say Stafford. He's gone now. Um, second, um, I've noticed that YouTube doesn't like my, my – Videos don't show up for people when they search for Washington football team or the Redskins. The reason why is if you have a Redskin, they flag you. Um, so I'm contemplating like changing the name of my channel to something more still Washington football team based. Um, but just kind of leave your thoughts down below. Um, let me do a poll on Twitter um, eventually. But uh, let me know what you think. Hail to the Redskins. See ya.